All right, so I uh, went to uh, 16kit.com, I think. Yeah. And I picked up the two more uh, 112 head sculpts. Uh, before, I picked up the uh, Tony Stark and then the Captain America and also the uh, um, 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 Tom Holland uh, Spider Man head. And then now I picked up, uh, finally, I was able to find the, um, the Batman, the Bruce Wayne head sculpt, the Ben Affleck head sculpt. And uh, it comes with the neck piece too, which is nice. And uh, I'll show that in a second. And also, the Frank Castle uh, head sculpt. Right there from the Punisher, and uh, I don't have the new Punisher yet. Uh, it's not out yet from Mesco. Uh, hopefully, when that comes out, uh, the neck will look a little more uh, will look the same color as the head. Uh, but right now, I'm using the uh, this Punisher, and uh, I took the head off and then just pop this in, uh, just so you guys can see what it looks like with the body. And uh, yeah, it fits perfectly. I like it. And uh, the head, uh, the ball joint actually fits perfectly too. So uh, it came with uh, some of these uh, sticky, sticky tag, but uh, I didn't have to use it. Uh, it fits perfectly. So yeah, for Mesco, it fits perfectly. And uh, there is the Bruce Wayne head sculpt. Uh, is definitely not as nice as the one six, um, but it is uh, really good. Still really good. Uh, a good looking uh, Ben Affleck head sculpt here. His cheeks a little bit uh, puffy, but uh, for the most part, uh, you could definitely tell who this is. But uh, I think the Punisher is definitely nicer out of the two. Rotate him a little bit so you guys can see. Yeah, the neck definitely doesn't fit uh, this head sculpt. Hopefully, again, hopefully when the movie version comes out. I mean the TV series version comes out, uh, that'll fit, uh, the color will fit in a little bit better. Hopefully it will be perfect, but you never know with these things. The head came out before the body, so. And uh, there's again the Bruce Wayne. Here's a look at that collar piece that came with it. There, I believe this was uh, $35. Uh, I believe it was for thirty-five. It was either thirty-five or thirty-six ninety-nine, somewhere around there. Uh, same with the this head sculpt here, same price. Mr. Bruce Wayne, just want to show you guys what it looks like. So uh, usually, because uh, a lot of these things, um, the um, the promotional photo does not match the overall production version and uh yeah this one doesn't match perfectly but uh, still i think it looks okay let's see if i can zoom in even more nope that's as far as it'll go let me put it on trap uh, there you go rotate it for you guys so you guys can see and uh i don't get kickbacks uh, uh, for any of these uh i just uh, like these 112 head sculpts and uh, i pay them legitimately through proper channel just like everyone else. So again, there's the Bruce Wayne head sculpt. And uh, there is the Frank Castle head sculpt. Awesome. And I was surprised how easy uh, I was able to pop the head off uh, the neck piece. I thought this was glued down or anything. Cause, uh, um, you never know because I didn't want to risk it because uh, I paid 80 bucks for this figure. I didn't want to mess with it too much. And then uh, here you can see uh, there's a ball joint on the bottom and uh, there's a little residue, a blue residue. I think it's when they're attaching it to the cape, but uh, it didn't hurt the cape at all, so I'm okay with it. And there's the ball joint and uh, you just gotta... I, I basically use my fingers uh, over here and then just start pulling. And then the pop popped right off. And uh, there's the original head sculpt. This is from the uh, Tactical Suit Batman. Just right here, right here, and then yeah, there's the neck piece. And uh, this is kind of loose. Uh, this ball joint, it's very loose actually. But that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, as long as it fits, I'm okay with it. Uh, I am not sure. I, I think this is by 11. I'm not sure, but. Uh, 
don't quote me on this, but uh, the the one six version is way better. Again, there's the neck piece, there's the ball joint, again, right there. Okay, so here's the SHF uh, Batman from the Justice League, I believe. And uh, the peg system is too long here. You would definitely have to remove this if you want to pop this head on here, because right now it's, uh, it's not sitting properly. If I think if you remove that, it will, it will work. Because it uh, looks like the head is uh, it's somewhat matching the body. Zoom out a little bit. Oops, too close here. So yeah, I mean, uh, if you look at it, because right now the length, uh, the the neck is pretty long. But if I if you were to remove this piece, do a um, do a permanent mod, then uh, I think this head will work for this Batman too. Then uh, another one I want to try is the Mafex Batman, and uh, this one is the Nightmare Batman. Let's see if I can pop the oops, popping the whole cow off here. Uh, well, you know what? Since I popped the cow off, I might as well pop the other one. So if anyone's interested in looking at what the uh, the body of the Mesco Tactical Suit Batman looks like without the head and the neck, that's what it looks like in there. So yeah. Oh, I don't think this will work with the Nightmare Batman because the Nightmare Batman has a neck piece on here already. I would have to remove this neck piece. Uh, can I remove this neck piece? I don't think I can. Oh, nope, I don't. I don't think I can. So I cannot pop this on here. So will this work for the Nightmare Batman? Let's see. All right, the neck is way too small. You can see. Yeah, it's not working. Uh, but this isn't even the right Batman for it, but I just want to test it out on a Mafex figure. Uh, Mafex, nope, unless you do a permanent mod, you probably have to remove this neck piece and then put this neck piece on over it, then maybe, then it should work. But uh, as far as looking at it, um, let's see, the head against the, damn it, uh, the, the shoulder, shoulder against the head it looks a little bit big even if I move it up a little bit if I were to move up the head a little bit like that still I think the body might be a little too small for this head here yeah even that like that even like that I think the yeah I think the body is too skinny for this head sculpt so the other one I want to try would be Nightmare Batman let me carefully remove the goggles. Don't want to break this. This is one of my favorite Batman. Oh, look at that goggles. I'm leaving marks on this head here. Okay, so you pop this head off, and then you can pop this wing head on. Can you? Let's see, oh, like that. I guess somewhat like that. It's a little short. And uh, I don't want to mess with that cow, uh, the neck section. But here you have Bruce Wayne with a trench coat on and a little scarf. So yeah, it kind of works for this Batman. Look at that. If you look at it from side, just the top section looks like just so Bruce Wayne with the trench coat on, not Batman. Got to move the neck to cover that gap there. To go like that. There we go. Look at that. Another Bruce Wayne with a trench coat. So yeah, uh, here you can see you could definitely see a gap here. But uh, you just set it on this body here. It will kind of work. So yeah. Uh, so mainly this one is for Mesco and uh, SHF. If you do a permanent mod, it will work for the uh, for that too. But uh, I'm definitely keeping it for the Mesco head. And I can't wait to get that um, Punisher figure. So I could pop this head on there. And maybe I'll do another video. Show you guys what it looks like. So there you go. These are the two new additions. Two new heads I purchased. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.